guys welcome to another video of important digital asset maths tips and tricks this is december asset prediction video in this video we will be covering some important kinds of questions that will possibly show up in upcoming digital asset so let's begin the video so here is our first question in this question uh, we have to find the equivalent uh, expression of given expression so this type of question uh, comes up very frequently in this in SAT so we have to focus on these types of question and uh, work to make it right so let's solve this question which of the following expression is equivalent to this expression now to solve this question we can use one calculator and another method is that we can uh, solve by using our hand by using simple algebra so let's do that uh, le let us take the LCM first in let's say in a new numerator 2a plus 2b divided by ab and our denominator is 2 times ab so we can just cancel this out this two part so from the upper part of numerator to let us take two common twice a plus b and two in the denominator so these two also get cancelled out at last our final answer is a plus b so in this way we can solve this question and here our answer is a plus b so don't forget to solve this type of question correctly in in your De december sat so let's go our let's go to our next question so uh, this is our next question in this question we have uh, according to question the diameter of circle is given to us two points of a diameter of a circle is given to us and we have to identify which of the following is an equation of that given circle so we can uh, solve this question by two methods one by using our formula using distance formula finding radius and finding center and finding the actual equation so another way is using Desmos so uh, I will be doing uh, this by using Desmos because um, we always have to prefer accuracy right so uh, in our test day it is very beneficial for us to use Desmos for this type of question so in this question uh, I have uh, I have uh, written the equation of uh, options uh, in uh, there are four options and a uh, four equation uh, of uh, four options so I have uh, written in that in Desmos so this is the first this is the second this is the third and this is the fourth now mm, check which option is correct I have plotted the point minus 23 comma 15 and uh, 1 comma minus 55 in this mouse in this way so let us check which is uh, our equation equation uh, we can see that uh, this here is one point and here is one point so our option is uh, option C is correct let us see this so, so this is option C this purple circle represents option C which is x plus 11 whole square plus y plus 20 whole square equals to 1369 so I think this time this type of question will uh, come in the December SAT so be prepared for this type of question and don't forget to use this mouse and if you guys don't know how to use this mouse then uh, you can visit and see my uh, this mouse series I have covered uh, different ways of how to how we can use this much in our test day and how we can use the this much for every possible questions out there so don't forget to check my previous video too so let's move forward so this is our third question for the day and this is very important question this is like uh, it 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 almost uh, comes in every as possible asset like uh, I have encountered this uh, question from a student several times so in this question an object's speed is increasing at the rate of 2.7 meters per second square what is the rate in miles per minute squared rounded rounded to nearest tenth so this is just unit conversion question and this is very easy question if we do it in a proper way so let's solve this question we have 
given that 2.7 meter per second square so we have to convert this in miles per sec minute square so in our uh, question uh, 1 miles equals to 1609 is given to us so first of all we have to convert uh, this meter into miles we can do that by uh, dividing like 2.7 Dividing 2.7 by 1609, 1609, and we have to convert. This is my. We have to convert a second into uh, minute square. Second square into minute square. So we know that 60 seconds. 60 seconds equals to one minute. Hence, 1 second equals to 1 by 60 minutes. So, we have to divide the given uh, value by 1 by 60 square. This becomes 1 upon 60 square. So, our equation becomes 2.7 times the 60 gets reciprocal and it comes upward 60 square divided by 1609 so let us solve into this much 27 times 60 square divided by 1609 which is 6.041 now remember that we have to round the value uh, to the nearest tenth so in this case 6 point, 6 .041 becomes the 6 because if we round uh, to the nearest tenth our answer would become the 6 because uh, we have 6.041 and this is once and this value is 10 so to round to the nearest 10 we have to see this value is this value 5 or greater than 5 no so if the value is not 5 or greater than 5 we have to keep the value as it is so it becomes 6.0 which is thus equal to 6 so our answer in this question becomes B So uh, this question is last question for today and uh, this is a bit exciting and unique question uh, as we all know that uh, nowadays college board is trying to put some uh, exciting and uh, out of the box question so we must expect uh, something uh, out of the syllabus and uh, something that requires brainstorming so we must be ready for that so I have taken this and uh, this uh, question and this is one of the hard question which can come in model 2 so we have to uh, get ready for that so in this question in a set of 4 consecutive odd integers whether integers are ordered from least to greatest the first integer is represented by x so first part is uh, telling us that x is the first integer and there are 4 consecutive integers which means it is x plus 2 third is x plus 4 and last integer fourth integer is x plus 6 now how I have wrote uh, these are uh, four consecutive integer is let us take an example 1 3 5 and 7 Uh, these 1, 3, 5 and 7 are also 4 consecutive odd integers and the gap between 1 and 3 is 2 and the gap between 1 and 5 is 4 and the gap between 1 and 7 is 6 right so in this way I have taken x, x plus 2, x plus 4 and x plus 6 as 4 consecutive integers now the second part of question tells us that it is very important part and uh, we have to understand that part to make the equation the product of 15 and the third odd integer that means 15 and third odd integer is x plus 4 
and the product of these two so the product of 15 and the third odd integer in the set is at most the value of 50 less than the sum of the first and the fourth odd integers in the set so what does it mean it means that the product of this x plus 4 times 15 is at most which means maximum which means less than or equals to at most 50 less than the sum of the first and fourth which means 50 less than x plus x times x plus 6 minus 50 so this will be our required inequality now let us solve 15 x plus 60 less than equals to twice x minus 44 now now let's add a minus 60 towards both side so LHS becomes just 15x less than equals to twice x and minus 104 so it becomes 13x this is 3 less than or equals to minus 104 which is x is less than or equals to minus 8 now we have got the range of x but according to our question x is x is the odd integer so we have to see that uh, which is the greatest possible value of x and is odd integer so in this case the value of x is less than or equals to minus 8 which means our value as the greatest possible odd integer will be minus 9 because every other value than minus 9 will not be the greatest value so the answer to this question is x equals to minus 9 now I know this question is a uh, little bit hard than other problems but we have to expect this kind of question nowadays because college, college board is trying something new to, uh, in the model 2 especially of digital SAT maths so be ready guys uh, for this kind of problem not more just one two in model 2 and try every possible questions that you can solve and best of luck for upcoming digital SAT and don't forget to join our discord server for free classes and uh, free resources especially for digital SAT. So yes, thank you and best of luck.